This week, we highlight another life well lived. On Monday's national holiday, America celebrated the life of Martin Luther King Jr. and took stock of the state of his dream. Among the thousands of civil rights activists who fought in the movement led by Dr. King was a pioneering young woman named Casey Hayden. A Texas native born Sandra Kaysen, who went by Casey, she became, in 1960, one of the first white students at the University of Texas in Austin to join anti-segregation protests. Kaysen moved to Atlanta in the fall of that year to work under Ella Baker at the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, known as SNCC. She participated in Freedom Rides, led literacy programs in Mississippi, and helped to organize the Freedom Summer of 1964. I was all fired up to do direct action, what we call nonviolent direct action. It was what was happening. During that period, she married the renowned activist Tom Hayden and changed her name to Casey Hayden. Even as Hayden fought for racial justice at SNCC, she was critical of sexism inside the organization. In 1965, she and a fellow activist wrote a document titled Sex and Caste, which argued women and black Americans should be allies in their shared fight for equality in the United States. That essay is credited with galvanizing a new wave of feminism. Casey Hayden, who spent her life pushing America forward, died this month at home in Tucson, Arizona. She was 85 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.